What's going on everyone? Mike O back with another box break. Today I'll be breaking a retail mega box of 2020 Topps Opening Day Baseball. Opening Day is a starters level product, fairly low end, relatively cheap. This is a 16 pack box plus one exclusive pack of red parallel cards. Seven cards per pack, 119 total cards, and it retails for $14.99. So a solid value, something cheap to rip and have a good time to celebrate the upcoming Major League Baseball season, which is currently scheduled for just around two weeks from now. We'll see what happens with that. A lot of stuff going on in the country right now, a lot of cancellations. So who knows when opening day will actually take place, but... With that being said, we're going to have some fun, rip some cards. This is always a fun product early in the season. Like I said, 119 cards, $14.99 at your local Target or Walmart. So definitely a solid value there. Tough to pull some of the big stuff in there, but some of the cards are available. The biggest card in this product this year is Luis Robert. His first pack pulled rookie card is available in 2020 Tops Opening Day. It was a late edition, so it is short printed. From what I've heard, it is a pretty tough pull. So we'll see if we get anything interesting. But just figured I'd show the product off. And if you're just looking to uh, enjoy some cards and not stress out about spending too much money not worrying about big time hits, then I think opening day is a product that you can get some serious enjoyment out of. So they do have blaster boxes, which are $9.99. They do value packs. They do single packs. And there is a hobby version of the product as well. I believe the hobby version gives you a somewhat better chance at pulling an autograph, though it is more likely you would hit a relic. Something like this, this retail, uh, wouldn't really personally expect uh, a whole lot out of. But again, you never know. You get a lot of cards that are in Series 1, and then you'll get some uh, Series 2 previews, some variations. They do do image variations and a ton of inserts. So pack number one, we start off with Dan Vogelbach. You can see that opening day 2020 logo there. Eduardo Rodriguez, Brandon Lowe, Luke Voigt, Chris Bryant, National Baseball Card Day, advertisement August 8th, 2020. And then we got the Stan Musial statue for the St. Louis Cardinals. Let's get in the pack too. Ronald Acuna Jr., Dansby Swanson, Trey Turner. We got Ian Kennedy. We got Grisham, Mike Clevenger, and a Justin Verlander insert. So it's nice to get a, a sizable number of packs. Looks like we got a mascot card coming up, which are actually quite popular. Nick Senzel, Mankata, Michael Chavis, and Billy the Marlin. So it's Billy the Marlin. They are pretty sought after by collectors who are making team sets and such. One of those, I'd say they're generally, uh, you know, about a dollar, dollar per piece. We got a Gavin Lux rookie, so a nice rookie there. Put him aside. Brandon Woodruff, Josh Hader, Zach Greinke, Juan Soto, Mike Trout, and Seattle Mariners opening day, which will certainly not take place in Seattle this year. Sounds like they will likely be shifted to an alternate location, but all that stuff is uh, kind of still up in the air. Masahiro Tanaka, David Dahl, Aaron Nola. Matt Carpenter, Jorge Polanco, Garrett Cooper, and a Ken Griffey Jr. Spring has sprung. J. 
J.D. Davis, Pete Alonzo, Rookie Cup, Michael Baez, Jacob deGrom, Corey Seager, J.T. Realmuto, and we got the Tampa Bay Rays opening day. Ryan Braun, Keston Hiera. So that looks like a Series 2 preview because he was not in Series 1 from what I remember. Kenta Maeda, Navarez, Posey, Elvis Andrus, and the Texas Rangers. Who will be opening up a new ballpark. Alright, we got Albert Pujols, Jock Peterson, Kyle Lewis. Domingo Santana, Carter Kiboom, George Springer, and Slider for the Cleveland Indians. Fun product, definitely affordable, great for collectors getting back into the hobby. There's an Aquino. Definitely good for kids. Kids will uh, dig a lot of the cards in here, like Mascot. His name is Mascot. You would think they'd come up with something slightly uh, better than Mascot. Oh, we're hitting all the rookies in this box. Jordan Alvarez. It's a nice one there. Got Joey Votto. Chris Paddock. Mike Yastrzemski. Castillo. Mercado. And the Minnesota Twins. But sometimes you just got to have fun, break a box of cards, enjoy the hobby, enjoy the sport. A lot of things going on in the country, a lot of uncertainty in with the economy and the virus. Even in the hobby, will the national take place? I think that's something that we have to uh, consider is the Yankees. It's still a ways away, late July, early August, but something collectors look forward to. And uh, we'll have to see if things uh, kind of clear up and stabilize by then. Jack Flaherty, Clayton Kershaw, Toro, Pagan, Verlander, Molina, the Oakland Athletics. I'm hoping, hoping, I'm hoping, I should say, opening day will take place on time. Definitely excited for baseball. We'll certainly understand if it doesn't. Is it Reese Hoskins? He is not in Series 1, so a cool one as a Phillies collector. This is going to be tough to have to wait, but at the same time, you got to, I don't know, you got to see what is best for the people involved, even if they were to play games uh, with empty stadiums to start. I mean, you still have workers and such that could be exposed, so we'll have to see. Jorge Soler. And I think uh, if it comes down to playing games without fans but still grabbing those TV ratings, which could be escalated um, based on interest, based on people not being able to get out and do other things, I think that would be a little more positive for the sport as opposed to potentially shortening the season because you can only have so much of a delay uh, before you'd have to start canceling games I don't think they'll get a 162 game schedule in if they were to, were to have to say put the season off for a month or so there's a Max Freed blue foil and Philadelphia Phillies opening day so that one will go into the Phillies binder Neat there for the collection. All right, final pack, and then we have the exclusive pack. All right, we got Randall Grichuk, Jamison Tyon, Sean Doolittle, Evan Longoria, Lance Lynn, Austin Riley, and we wrap it up with the San Diego Padres. Beautiful city, beautiful stadium. All right, let's see how we do with these seven exclusive red parallels. Be pretty neat to hit one of the rookies here. Nice looking cards. We got Toro. Tatis. That's a cool one there. 
Reese Hoskins, Tommy Pham, Zach Gallen, Javier Baez, and wrap it up with Austin Meadows. Man, these red foils, they look good. I like them. Opening day is a uh, fun product. It's a cheap product. You're not going to sink a lot of money in it. There's not a ton of reward other than the entertainment, but there's very little to no risk. And at the very least, you can add some rookies to the collection. Here's a few of the highlights. So some nice cards there. All right, guys, comment below. Let me know what you think of 2020 Tops Opening Day Baseball cards and what are your thoughts on everything that's going on in the hobby, the country, and the world right now. All right, guys, thanks for watching. As always, let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you next time. Have a great one.